Do you know who I am? Even with these sunglasses on? Even with this hat on? Even with this mask on? You know who I am? Well, of course you know it's me. You're used to seeing me in this setting. around, And even with all of this on, many of you know my voice and my beard, right? Yeah. Well, this past week, we have have honored Holy Week. And now it's Easter Monday. And we are still celebrating the resurrection of Jesus, aren't we? We've talked about Palm Sunday. We've talked about the Last Supper, about Jesus' suffering, his crucifixion, his death, and his burial. And yesterday on Easter, we celebrated his resurrection. How glorious it is. He is risen. He is risen indeed. So, would you recognize Jesus if you saw him? Well, today I want to tell you a story about two men who did see Jesus right after he rose from the dead, on that same day, on that Easter Sunday. It was Easter, not sure if it was Easter Sunday then, we celebrate Easter Sunday, but on the day that Jesus rose from the dead, many, many years ago, there were two men that had contact with him. And here's their story. It's found in Luke chapter 24. And it says, that same day, two of Jesus' followers were going to a village called Emmaus. And it was about seven miles from Jerusalem. And they were talking with each other about everything that had happened. And as they talked about these things, Jesus himself came up and walked alongside with them. Hmm. But God kept them from recognizing him. Very interesting. Jesus asked them, well, what are you talking about as you walk along? And they stood still and their faces were very sad. One of them, whose name was Cleopas, said to Jesus, are you the only person visiting Jerusalem who doesn't know? Don't you know about the things that have happened here in the last few days? What things? Jesus asked. <laughs> well, about Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. And then they told Jesus about Jesus. And they told Jesus that he was a prophet, that he was a powerful man, that he had been nailed to a cross and had died. They had taken him down. They had buried him. Now some of them had seen angels who said that Jesus was alive, but they couldn't find Jesus' body. And they were very confused. Well, Jesus then began to explain scriptures from the Old Testament and what had happened and what some of the prophecies were about these happenings. And we're picking up in verse 28. They approached the village where they were going. And Jesus kept walking as if he were going further. But they tried hard to keep him from leaving. And they said, stay with us. It is nearly evening. The day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. He joined them at the table. Then he took bread and gave thanks. And he broke it and he began to give it to them. And their eyes were opened. And they recognized him. But then he disappeared from their sight. And they said to each other, Wow, he explained to us what the scriptures meant. Weren't we excited as he talked with us on the road? Didn't we feel something was going on? So they got up and they returned at once to Jerusalem. And there they found the other 11 disciples and those with them. They were all gathered together and they were saying, It's true, the Lord has risen for he has appeared to Simon. And then the two of them told what had happened to them on the way to Emmaus. And they told how they had recognized Jesus when he broke the bread. It's a great story. How powerful. So, if you were walking with me and didn't know who I was, what would I need to do to get you to recognize me? Maybe talk? <laughs> Hello there. Maybe laugh? <laughs> Maybe smile? Sure, yeah. You know, that in this past year, I have sometimes not recognized people I know because they were wearing masks. I've had to listen closely to their voice or to look in their eyes to see if I recognize them. I want to make sure that I am paying close attention to what God is trying to tell me. I want to make sure that I read the Bible carefully. I want to make sure that I prayerfully consider what I believe God is communicating with me. I want to make sure that I'm seeing the ways of Jesus. So I need to be careful. In order for me to know what God is saying, I need to test the Spirit. 
I need to make sure that it's God who's talking to me. You know, these disciples didn't recognize Jesus right away. But when Jesus spoke, and when he did what Jesus does, when he broke that bread, then they recognized who Jesus was. You know, the scripture reminds us to be still and know that I am God. As we look for God in our daily life, I pray that you will see his wonderful ways, that you will see and hear his wonderful words, and that you will know the words of God speaking to you. So today, I wish you a day that's filled with joy and a day that's filled with peace, and we continue to live in the power of the resurrection. Praise God for Easter Monday.